just for example, problem purposes, we put it on the books here, our 12,000, imagining that that was, that was for uh, a 12 month time period. So now we're just gonna say that, that uh, the policy started in February, let's say the policy started in February, and now we're going to uh, allocate 1,000 for the first month, only February, we're gonna say has passed. So one month has passed, 12,000 is for 12 months. So 12,000 divided by uh, divided by 12 is 1,000 a month that we're gonna allocate. So we're gonna consume 1,000. We're not gonna have it. We're gonna decrease the prepaid insurance directly, not having a contra asset account. The reason we don't have a contra asset account is because we know exactly or how much has been consumed as opposed to a building where we don't know how much is consumed, we just basically have to allocate the cost based on an estimate of, of the value of the building or the car or something like that. All right, so it's gonna decrease prepaid insurance. The other side is gonna to go to insurance expense, classic adjusting uh, type of entry. So let's go to the first tab. Uh, we could do this with a journal entry, with a new and a journal, but because there's only two accounts affected, then we can use the register. So let's do that because the register's an easy thing to do. So we're going to go over to the accounting on the left hand side. Remember that if you're in the business view, by the way, the uh, registers in the bookkeeping, the bookkeeping tab, and then the chart of accounts. That's where we're going. That's where we're headed. Okay, and then back on over, there's our chart of accounts. Now the expense account isn't something I can use because it doesn't have a register. So I have to use the balance sheet account if I'm gonna use this register approach and the balance sheet account is gonna be prepaid insurance. So there it is, prepaid insurance. And I'm just gonna use the register and I'm gonna enter all of my transactions. This is gonna be a journal entry format, journal entry. All of the transactions are as 022823 for an adjusting entry. I'm not gonna put anything in for the uh, payee in the memo, I'm just going to put ADJ entry. Now you might put more than that. You might say that you put the the term of the policy term dates on when the coverage is covered that might help you with the calculation. So you could put the calculation there. But at the very least, we want to indicate that it's an adjusting entry so that the accounting department and us can know that that's something that was done on the adjusting side of things. It's going to be a decrease of a thousand dollars. And the other side, we're gonna to have to choose an account. I haven't put anything to the insurance account yet. So I'm gonna just type in insurance and see what they have. And this is what they have. They've got insurance and then they put in subcategories, business insurance, liability insurance, property insurance, rental insurance. This is probably a, a fairly good setup to be using with the insurance to have a parent account of insurance and the different kinds of insurance. If you only have one kind of insurance like business insurance, then you can just put it into the insurance expense account itself, possibly. Uh, and it, it still gets a little bit tricky, even with insurance, because some insurances could fall somewhere else, like an auto insurance, possibly. You might put under the subcategory of auto expense, or you can put it under the subcategory of insurance. So I'll pick maybe a liability insurance here. Let's pick that one that we're practicing with. It should be 1,000, not 10,000. 1,000, not 10,000. Okay, so that should do it. And so let's save it. Boom. 